the last part of this video series is to show how we invoke uh, the RESTful API from the jail into BigFix to ask it to quarantine that machine. In the previous video, we saw how we got into this uh, BigFix ID, the actual BES ID number, and that's the, what we need to pass into BigFix. And, and this part is actually looks complex, but it's actually very simple. We are building here the XML that is going to be passed into BigFix, which is the, the quarantine uh, uh, fixlet. And all these, as you can see, is are the thing that BigFix is going to be actually doing. So uh, it's going to be executing a, a whole bunch of uh, commands to uh, this uh, net shell to make sure that the machine is off the network, uh, but also is enabled to be patched from BigFix. And that's that's uh, what is actually uh, being uh, done in here. Some uh, changes on the registry, uh, etc. But the key part is in here. In the end, notice that this is uh, an XML where we are opening the computer ID uh, bracket and we close it in here and we replace that with the big fix ID that we got from the previous API call. Then the rest of the component is just putting, you know, the, the, the big fix user ID and password uh, to be used. And here, uh, you know, the header information that needs to be placed. And notice that this is uh, encoded with uh, Base64. Uh, and that's going to be very specific of the actual product you are communicating with. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can do whatever you want with custom actions. This script is available. And, and, and the link is, uh, the public link is on the description of the video. And um, I hope that you can, with your offenses, begin to automate many more processes instead of picking up the phone and calling this guy on the IPS to block this component, where we show you how you do that with, uh, with Palo, with uh, Cisco, with, uh, with uh, our XGS IPS. Uh, and, and you can automate many more things once you know that they are malicious and save time and hassle by using custom action scripts. Again, it's within a jail, but even from a jail, you can get what you want if you know how to ask for, and that's uh, using the RESTful APIs.